Action. Action. <laughs> hey guys, uh, today I'm going to be answering some of you guys' questions that you guys sent me on uh, Instagram. There was a lot of great questions. I'm sorry uh, if I'm not able to answer your question uh, or if I'm not able to give a shout out. I just wanted to answer some of the more soccer related questions um, to hopefully give you guys you know, some type of feedback, some type of response um, to some of the curious questions that you guys may have. So let's get started. Okay, so I'm behind the camera, hi. <laughs> I'm behind the camera, I will be asking Paul these questions. So Paul, you can go ahead and sit back and enjoy your coffee. Okay, let's get into that, let's get comfy, let's get started. Uh, no, not right now. Okay, so your first question. Is being up from Janice six to a, aka my grandma, aka Grandma Ariola, is being a soccer professional everything you would dream it would be? Um, being a professional is everything that I dreamed it would be. Um, it's a lot of hard work. It's a lot of sacrifice, um, but there's also a lot of uh, great things that come with it. Uh, you know, being able to do what you love, I think that's the most important thing. Um, it's not about really what you do, it's just as long as you love doing what you do. Um, and so for me, that's being a professional. Um, and every day I get to uh, play soccer, do what I love, uh, and also uh, make other people happy. This one's a good one from Zach Fletcher. Favorite pre-game meal? Favorite pre-game meal is definitely um, some salmon, and before it was uh, gnocchi. I used to love gnocchi. Uh, Kayla would always uh, make it for me before the game. But now, um, I think probably just a little bit of rice, um, some salmon, a couple vegetables, um, and I'm good to go. Another question from Bankroll underscore gxbe what were some of your struggles when you were trying to go pro for me i guess i learned and i realized that i had a chance to go pro when i was about 15 years old um, and i had moved to florida to be with the under 17 national team um, at that point i had to choose should i stay in san diego and just finish, you know, continue high school. I was a sophomore in high school. Should I just continue that? Or should I sacrifice my friends, my family, my life in San Diego and um, go to Florida and live with my team? I would definitely say that there was a lot of sacrifice um, in going professional. And I'm sure for a lot of players, that's how it was as well. Next question from Soy Jose Flores underscore. What would you prefer, score a goal in the World Cup or win the MLS Cup? Ooh, score a goal in the World Cup or win an MLS Cup? Well, I'll tell you this, my, my dream is to play in a World Cup. Um, and so I think anything that involves the World Cup, I would choose over anything else. I think um, it is something to be said that uh, when you're a champion um, that's extremely important because the only way that professionals are really um, judged or uh, remembered is through their champions championships so for me um, it is really important to be a winner but um, you know I, I would say probably scoring scoring a goal in, in a World Cup D Velasquez underscore 21 asks who is your favorite player growing up Growing up, uh, my favorite player was definitely David Beckham. Uh, no questions asked. <laughs> this is a shout out. This next one. From Lee I Mary A R A N I B A R. It says, My two boys love soccer. Can you please say hi to them? Their names are Sebastian and Adrian. Hey, Sebastian and Adrian. What's going on? <laughs> From Lily. Krakowski, what is your reaction when you see people wearing your jersey? Lily, I will tell you this. <laughs> um, it is amazing 
Um, once again, like being in Tijuana um, for four years, the first few years, um, you know, the people, the only people that really had my jersey were my friends um, and my family. Um, and then now being in D.C. and kind of how I talked about the roles uh, kind of changing from club to club. Uh, now here in D.C., like the amount of people that are able to wear my jersey and that support me and support the team, it's unbelievable. Um, it's an amazing feeling. It's kind of one of those uh, feelings of satisfaction. You feel like it's almost like a reward to you. It makes you feel good inside. It makes you feel like what you're doing on the field um, is paying off, even though it's really like nothing really doesn't really affect me uh, literally. But the fact that, uh, you know, people buy my jersey or consider me one of their favorite players or something like that, um, that's honestly amazing. And I think, you know, it's, it's a great feeling. I'm going to reword this question. So you have a roommate for U.S. men's national team this year, and you have a roommate for D.C. United. Um, what, what are the favorite, or just maybe like one favorite thing from each of them? Uh, from Seabass Ramirez underscore 11. <laughs> from Seabass? Um, yeah, so my roommate um, currently on the national team for the past couple camps has been uh, Christian Ramirez. Um, who I believe is Sebastian's brother. <laughs> uh, so Sebastian, um, probably the best thing about Christian Ramirez is, um, it's really cool, really easy. Um, when it comes to roommates, you always want to hope that you get someone that can sleep pretty easily, that's pretty relaxed. Um, and that's definitely Christian. Um, and then we're able to like, we both speak Spanish and English. So, uh, if we play music, music in Spanish or music in English, doesn't matter. Um, and then for DC, my roommate has always been Russell, uh, Russell Canal. So Russell and I were always together on the road. Um, whenever we play an away game or preseason, whatever it is. Um, and Russell's the same way, super easy. Um, I grew up with Russell, so we're super close. Um, I've known him forever now, more than 10, 11 years. Uh, so it's just kind of natural and it's nice, it's easy. Uh, he doesn't snore, so everything is good with uh, <laughs> Okay, next question. JS underscore official 29. Hey dude, any tips for becoming pro? Um, there's a lot of tips for becoming a pro. Let's just name like the top three. Um, the na I'll name the top three um, tips I would have for becoming a pro and, and not even like a pro, just in anything that you want to do in life. Um, number one would be uh, work hard, work as hard as you can. Uh, you got to commit yourself to whatever you do. Um, two is never give up um, because obviously there's going to be times that things aren't going your way or it looks like you might think it's too difficult, but you always have to uh, keep trying even if you fail. Um, and my third one would be to just be as loyal as you can to yourself, believe in yourself, um, because there's going to be times that other people maybe don't believe in you and it seems like uh, everything is against you and, and things don't want to go your way, but as long as you keep believing and you believe uh, in yourself that you can do it, um, with hard work, um, you'll be able to accomplish anything. Football dot edits asked best memory at DC United. Best memory so far at DC United is definitely uh, playing at Audi Field, first game ever um, against Vancouver. It was amazing. I think everyone was so excited. I'm sure that's a lot of people's favorite memory um, of. And now, like the newer type of DC United field, Audi Field. Um, I think the first game was amazing, being able to like walk into the stadium and, and people were so happy to be there. It was beautiful. Uh, it was so nice and it was hot. Um, and then we ended up playing well. I ended up scoring a couple goals. Um, and so that's probably my best memory so far. Miriam.pickyard asked, What positions have you played? Right midfielder. 
right winger, right back, right wing back, uh, right <laughs> center mid. So literally anything, if you were to divide the field uh, into half, everything on the right side, um, I've pretty much played, except like right center back, but also I've played a little bit as a um, left winger recently, so uh, I do like that switch, but usually everything is is on the right. Um, I'm a very vertical player, and uh, I'm right-footed, so when you combine those types of things and you combine my skill set, everything kind of makes more sense to play on the right uh, at times. So I think that's kind of where just all my coaches have always um, focused me on. JB41 asked, what was your biggest challenge as a player during your time in cellos? What was my biggest challenge? With the cellos. With cholos? <sighs> my biggest challenge with um, cholos was probably in the beginning getting on the field um, all the time. I think Mexico, there's uh, amazing attacking players. And so at times it, it was difficult, especially being a young kid. I was 18, 19, 20 years old. Um, and I was really trying to establish myself. Um, at the same time, we had a lot of coaching changes. When I was there, I think I had about six coaches in four years. Um, so I would get like six months with a coach and the coach would really like me. And then the new coach would come in and he would prefer someone else over me in my position. And so then I wouldn't play that much. And I think that was the biggest challenge was trying to figure out how I can stay on the field and, and being, being so good that the coach had no choice but to leave me um, you know, on the field or as an option off the bench. A lot of people ask, would you ever go back to the Cholos? Or would you, do you think about ever going back? Yeah, I, I thought about going back to uh, Tijuana one day. Cholos was my first home um, as a professional and I was there for so long and being from Chula Vista, um, it was so close. I was able to live in San Diego and, and then playing like if you've ever been to a Cholos game, uh, you know the, how the fans are, you know they're amazing um, and, and they love soccer so much and they're so into it. And I had such a, I had such a good four years there that I think one day, um, if it made sense um, for me to go back, then you know I would love to go back. Um, but Kayla knows that we, you know that that I really like Tijuana. We went back in the off season. We went to a game. Um, we took Russell with us. That's our first vlog. That was our first vlog. <laughs> they loved it, um, and it's just like a, it's just a different, it's just a different feel, different atmosphere. Um, so yeah, I think one day. Uh, like I said, if it makes sense, you never know um, in this world. You never really close a door um, in, soccer, in, in in your career because it's just so it's just so short, and you don't ever know um, what could happen. Uh, but I'm definitely not opposed to going back one day to play for them. Okay. Last question: One of your favorite players to play against in the MLS, or you can say team. One of my favorite players to play against in the MLS. I think I have a favorite player to play against. Um, I like playing against all my friends, um, all the guys that I know, whether it's from the national team, growing up with them, um, or just like people that I've been teammates with, different things like that. I think those are the players like I enjoy the most, which is fortunately now it's like one person from every team. So like each game I'm able to like go and have conversation with them, talk to them. Um, you know, if they're in our city, we can hang out, or vice versa. If I go to their city, we can um, hang out. So I think that's kind of the best thing, especially like growing up with, with guys like on the youth national team, being able to like still be in contact with them and see them succeed also, um, and be a part of the same league and kind of help you know each other grow in a sense. Uh, that's probably the best part. That's all uh, the questions I got for today. Thank you so much for responding to me uh, on Instagram. I hope that you guys really liked. Uh, hearing my answers to some of the questions. Um, I think it's great to be able to kind of give back and the whole reason for this is to obviously give you guys some type of insight um, about me, about being a professional, about playing soccer. Um, and yeah, I hope you guys enjoyed it. Um, and I look forward to seeing you guys soon.